Daniel's return to the mill sets tongues wagging on doctors in half an hour. Now, though, hoping to keep her mind off Morgan's death, Nicole goes back to work on Shortland Street. Which life tried to help you so many times. You got me off the booze before. You were the only one who could. I can't do it again. I came to Shortland Street for one thing and you couldn't give that to me. Are you sure it's just anger you're feeling? Double P E double T. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. How are you doing? Uh, hold on, let me just tick this one off. Done. I suppose it's too late to call a crematorium, isn't it? Uh, morning might be best. All right, what else can I do now? Flowers. Uh, will you let me do the arrangements? No, no, no it's fine. I can, I can do the flowers. And what about this phone tree? Hand it over. No, no, it's fine. I'll do it. Cindy and Trent. Yeah, I'm dreading that one. Let me ring them. No, really, they should hear it from me. You can contact them another time when you're feeling up to it. Let me make the initial contact. Thanks. You're not alone in this room, though. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Not gonna see me all sad sack and tragic. <laughs> You've got enough on your plate. Oh, hush. I'm here for you, remember, not the other way around. You've got all that nastiness with Tanya. Which is nothing compared to losing a loved one. I'll get you a bite to eat. Then you'll feel better. Then I'll get on with the phone. Hey, do you want me to pick up JJ tomorrow? Uh, no, Mum's on the job, and then she'll make dinner for him around here. Uh, actually, FYI, I've asked her not to come around anymore. Pardon? You've banned her. I suppose I have. What about JJ? Well, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to figure that one out. Well, that's unfair. You said it. Great. Thanks, Mum. Thanks for the happy family. We don't know what's going on with her and Ben. I mean, if it really is true love... I don't want to know what it is. Whatever it is, it's just wrong, wrong, wrong. Is it? Yes. Are you sure you want to do that? Why? Look at what I could do with that one on your right. Oh. How did it go? Someone is up past their bedtime. One more game, please. Jamie's toothbrush. We'll finish it in the morning. I take it you didn't want to answer that in front of Harry? No. Which indicates that it wasn't pleasant. She basically dumped the blame straight on me. Blame for what? For screwing up her life, for not helping her off the booze, for tacitly enabling her to drink, you name it, she laid it on me. That's irrational. I know. And yet somehow you're still feeling guilty? Oh, no, because that would be irrational. We can't have that. Anyway, Rachel's a tough nut. She'll see her way through. You're saying the words, but your face still shows the conflict. Does it? Sorry, I shouldn't be dumping this on you. <clears throat> Why not? Oh, I know it can't be easy for you. No, I'm fine. I'm just not sure I'm helping. You are. Most definitely. thinking a nightcap. What will you have? Actually, I've been thinking too, and I think you should move out. Right. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of moving soon anyway. What's this? The last thing you need is me and you here. I'll be packing on as soon as possible. Thanks. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Are we that hard to live with, huh? Oh, well, things aren't the easiest right now, especially with the new situation. Yeah. TK's handling it really well. Any other man would be off his rocker. 
I mean, his wife moving out is one thing, but moving on, well, that's another thing altogether. You don't know, do you? Know what? Oh, Brooke, why can't you keep your mouth shut? No, if someone doesn't tell me what the hell is going on, moving on to, to someone else. Please don't tell Sarah that I told you. It's, it's totally inappropriate. Well, who is the guy? What difference does it make? Well, I want to know who my mother is playing around with. That's... I don't know. Truly. Just tread gently, eh? I think nerves are frayed enough as it is. Um, can you get him weighed and then I'll chart the Enox Sure. Thanks. Morena. Good morning. I thought you would have dealt with the rest of Put yourselves on different shifts, at least. I couldn't get cover. Well, for goodness sake, get on the phone and keep trying. When the locum gets here, you get out. Cubicle two. Can I have a quick week? Look, um, we're stuck under the same roof. I just want to know if you're okay pink here. I mean, I tried to swap my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Job comes first. All right. Anything else? But I just wanted to say it should never have happened. Okay, it's one of those stupid, out of the blue things. I know you probably won't believe me, but I hope you and Sarah do work things out. Okay. Patience waiting. There you go. All done. You can get off my case now. Busy? Trying to be. Um, are you okay? I reckon you should have a talk to TK. Because there's a rumour out there, and you know how Bundy is at what the moment. What kind of rumour? Or just that you guys busted up because you cheated on him. Uh, I know this is tough, Daniel, but you have to understand that I have moved on from TK. Meaning what exactly? For a start, that rumour... I'm sorry, you had to find out like this. Who's the guy? It doesn't matter. No, of course it does. So, some random. No, it's not Okay, important. then someone from work. That's all class. Who? Well, let's see. We've got Chris Warner, we've got Callum, we've got Maxwell, but I don't think any... Ma Maxwell Avia. I don't expect you to understand. Out of all the guys you could have chosen, you chose TK's boss? How sick are you, Sarah? No. Daniel, please. How could you? Daniel, not here. Yes, here, you piece of scum. This is not the time or the place, Daniel. Daniel, you don't need to do this. You're bigger than this. How could they do this to you? How could she do this? You just, yes. just get out of here. Come on. Come on. You might want to give us a swear for a while, all right? Far out. You okay? Just, just shut up. Okay, back to it. Poor kid. He's out of control. <laughs> Three words. Told you. And you might be able to guess the last one. Rachel will enter a plea today, then be released from police custody. I'm guessing the DHB have stood her down. Well, no surprises there. Do you think you'll visit her again? I doubt it. Uh, I think she wants to be left alone. Right. I might send her an email to tell her we're ploughing on with the uh, surgical project. Going up? Yes, thank you. Uh, talk soon, yeah? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? What does that look like? You're on bereavement leave. You don't have to come I'd in. rather be here than moping around home. I don't know. It's really early days. Please. It'll help being busy. Being busy is one thing. Being up to the job is another. Can you tell her? Well, usually I'm able to separate myself emotionally and focus on the task at hand. In fact, it can be a welcome diversion. See? I'd certainly appreciate your skills for today's roster. Perfect. Only if you're 100% sure. Thank you. I should have smacked him one. And what would that have solved? It would have reminded him what a prat he is. And it's not like I could go around dicking Sarah, is it? Violence is not the way. It never is. <laughs> How can you stand it? How can you just get on with your day, knowing that the snake, who, who said he was your mate... Haven't you learned anything from our boxing lessons? The whole point is to control your anger, master that energy, and use it in a positive way. 
punch like a sharp punch. I'll never forgive her for this. I'm sorry on your side. We'll get through this. In time, you'll get back on track with Sarah. <laughs> do you want to bet? She's your mother. But what if I don't want to be her son anymore? What if I want out? You don't mean that. I suppose I don't have a choice. But you do. You don't have to worry about a stepson anymore, do you? Not if you don't want to. And Sarah would prefer it that way. You watch, it'll be the next big hey, thing. Hey, hey, hey. It's enough. Enough. Now I feel like monumental crap, not just partial crap. I know. <laughs> so you need to sort things out with Tika, yeah? I've got nothing to sort. Yes, it's sad that Sarah and TK have broken up. Yes, it's a shame it had to be like this, but it's over. Marriage dead, like I told you. So you had to pick me. Probably the most insulting person you could have picked, just to rub TK's nose in it. You make it sound like I planned it. <laughs> I didn't know that I would be in such rough shape at the Christmas party, and I didn't think you would be the one mopping me up, so no, I didn't plan it. Well, that's happened. Yes, it has. And I don't regret it. Really? I can't say I'm enjoying all of this fallout, but what can you do? I don't regret it either. I'm glad it was me. Well, don't feel like you need to protect me or anything. No, no, that's not how I feel. At all. Well, it was a one-off thing. It'll never happen again and we'll all just <laughs> get on with our lives, all right? Right. Was there anything else you needed? Uh, no. <laughs> Small artery forceps. We're now going to dissect the artery away from the tumour. Micro scissors and a Roton 9 dissector. And the Roton 9 dissector, please. Oh, sorry. Here. I'm so sorry. Uh, that won't happen again. It can't. I repeat, we'll compromise patient safety. I know, and I'm fine now. No, you're not. You're distressed and you're trying to negotiate an unfamiliar layout. What? Your instruments, you've copied Morgan's layout. I didn't realise. I'm sorry. Quarter of placement, please. Maxwell, holy hell. Mm, I know. Well, she's certainly changed her tune. Remember how she got on my case on morality this, loyalty that? Now look at her. <laughs> Hypocrita. Or slapper. Homework, I take your pick. Man, everything's so wrong at the moment. Like what happened with Paul Morgan and me with this totally mm. lupo brother and all. Honestly, he's so dodged. <laughs> well, that's the Mitchells for you, eh? Here it comes. Well, you get what you pay for, so. Karen Anders, bro. Cheap, nasty. We'll fall apart soon. I don't understand. You ask me here, wanting me to be all sympathetic, then you instantly bag out my fiance. Yeah, and you instantly make it about yourself. Oh, you're not gonna go, are you? Look, I know you're going through a rough time. Believe me, I've been there. I know it's not pretty. <sighs> then sit down, please. Give me some survival tips. Okay, I'll sit, but first you have to say one nice thing about Karen. See you around, sir. Hey, yeah. can I please cancel the caramel milkshake? Do you still want the lime one? Why not? Good, because caramel gets too sickly sweet. You need the lime flavour to really cut through. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So why'd you walk? Hey? Your date. Doesn't she like the new look? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Don't go overboard. So was it your B.O. or something you said? What? Jokes. You smell fine. Actually, you smell quite good. So you must have said something wrong. She's not my date. I see. Look, I've left my wallet at home, so... Stink. Yeah, can my date get any worse? Keep your panties on. I'll cover it. You can pay me back. 
You don't have to. I know. Nice, eh? Hey? <laughs> Thanks. It's fine. Don't you worry. I feel like such a dick. Don't. If anyone's to blame, it's me. I don't know what happened. I was thinking about Morgan when I was setting up and I must have used her layout. And then I got all confused and hey, nothing. Hey, hey. It's fine. The surgery's still going on. There's no harm done. Except I let everybody down. I know you just want to soldier on. We've done the same thing, but honestly, the best thing for you to do is get your head out of work and let yourself grieve. But I, I don't, don't want to see you here until after the funeral. And even then, only if you feel up to it, okay? Okay. Let's take care, eh? Well, they can't be helped. Just let me say this, please. I can't forgive you straight up, but I want to try. I just need some time. I know you've got this crazy idea that you're somehow setting me free and letting me go start a family. It's or not something. crazy. But can't you see? You've already given me a family. I just want you to realize that before you carry on figuring out how to hurt me. I've moved on, TK. But you don't have to. I'm happy our little unit is enough. Can't you accept that? And can't you accept that I don't want to be with you? No. I wanted to sleep with Maxwell. He wanted me and I wanted him, Enough. so... You're only saying this to hurt me. It's the truth. Maybe I'll even start dating him properly like he wants. He's up for it, so why not? It's over, TK. Face up to it. Oh, that was quick. True to my word. So, uh, are you going to help me out with this? <sighs> Only if you tell me your name. Lauren. Daniel. Enchante. Oh, it's Frank Furtis, Seat to Jenna. Rocky Horror, yeah? <sighs> Kindred spirit. Mm. Yum. We're good. <sighs> Look into it. Then tell me why you're not tabled now. <laughs> are you always this nosy? Yep. My bet is that she's an ex. You kind of had that vibe. <laughs> What are you, psychic or something? No, just watching and making observations. Now, what else did you observe about me then? I'm guessing you're under a bit of stress. <laughs> oh, you are psychic. So what's going down? It's more than almost blonde, isn't it? Yeah, way more. Try mother breaking up with stepfather. Mother nailing someone else and then stepfather being the only decent person on this entire screwed up planet. Except father, eh? So presumably you've been through this before? Yeah. Long and twisted story. My favourite. I've been there, done that too. Mum divorced twice, dad married three times, and several near misses. Get it? Near misses? As in misses? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know on a secret. When the olds are wrapped up in their own lives, it's your ticket to freedom. Get out there, do what you want to do. They'll never notice. And hit them up for money while you're at it. Big money. I'll get you some water. I managed to clamp off and wait till the sub came. That was lucky. No, it was foolish to let Nicole work so early. I include myself in that. Poor Morgan. It's hurting a lot of people. Rachel McKenna gets brought in to effect change and now she's caused the ultimate instability. Hasn't she just? Sorry, I reminded you of something painful. Come here. What's that for? Does it have to be a reason? Oh. Hi, stranger. When did you get in? I didn't see you in triage. It's because I'm using the Amber Bay from now on. If you'd like to talk to me about anything at all, I'm more than willing to listen. I'm always here. Plan of attack? Still deciding. TK, second opinion? Uh, Small right-sided pneumothorax. Should we insert chest drain or wait for it to resolve? The patient's symptomatic. Put in the chest drain. 
Mm. Actually, I might have met him. Watch and wait. Where'd you ask for my opinion? Why, well, if we would wait Pick to... me up, then shoot me down. Boys. I was just thinking out loud. I'm done. Unless you've got something professional to say to me, keep your mouth I think everyone's had enough of the floor show here today, don't you? Mum? I just needed a moment, that's all. You ain't entertain you, did you? She has every right to be furious with me, I understand that. But it's the way she... She hates me. You know what Tans is like? She's all fire and fury, and then she'll run out of steam and start dealing with it. I don't think she will. Hey, we've weathered all sorts of storms. We'll see this one out, too. I better get back. Oh, watch it. Hey, Mum's having a hard time, all right? Tanya's back. And whose fault is that? Not mine. Libby? Well, I didn't trash the family for the sake of some toy boy. I better get a move on. Rub it in, why don't you? I don't see where people get off trying to wreck other people's lives. And we're meant to run around being understanding while they suck face in public. Who's sucking face, Mum and Ben? No, oh, Chris and Gabrielle. It's offensive. Offensive is only thinking about yourself. Excuse me? I get it. This thing with Mum is embarrassing for you. But I'm not going to stand by and let you rip her to shreds, so if you don't have anything polite to say, then just keep your mouth shut altogether. OK, orthopaedics will need to see you in 10 days. Otherwise, you're free to go. Good luck. I'll just spit it out. Spit what? Well, you're obviously stewing over there. Why don't you tell me what a scumbag I am so I can defend myself and we'll both be happy? No. Oh. Look, I didn't break up their marriage, right? She had already moved out. She kind of started it. That is so cliche. My mate's wife was gagging for it, so what could I do? She made it very clear she was a free agent and wanted to be with me. She was totally up for it. Up, up. OK, I deserve that one. A social worker takes on more than she had bargained for when she agrees to foster a seemingly innocent 10-year-old girl. You're in for a scare with the midweek movie Case 39 starring Rene Zellweger tomorrow night at 9.35. Doctors is next.